Okay, we got our electric bill to work out here. We told the charge per unit is 24.7 pence. And so the first thing we need to do is find the cost of the units. And the unit cost of the units is coming from these two meter readings here. I need to work out the difference between the two meter readings to calculate the number of units used. The number of units here is the larger number, take away the smaller number. We calculate uh, that's equal to 911 units. And then to cost those out, each unit is 24.7 pence. So the cost. Of the units will be 911 times 24.7 and that answer is in pence so that's equal to 22501.7 pence to change that into pounds and I divide that by 100 move the point two places to the left that is now in pounds and then to the nearest penny would be 225 pound and 2p that 7 there increases the 1 by 1 digit ok that's the number of units now the standing charge it doesn't mention the standing charge but we, we charge 31 pence each day uh, within this quarter it's a 92 day period so to find the, the sort of standing charge, the service charge that would be 92 lots of 31 again that's in pence so that's 2852 pence and to change that into pounds divide that by 100 and that's twenty-eight pounds fifty-two. So the bill will be the cost of the units and the service charge. So that's two hundred twenty-five pound and two. Add twenty-eight pound fifty-two. Given an answer of £253.54. Okay, on top of this, we've got a, a charge of 5% VAT. So uh, the VAT is 5% of £253.54. 5% is 0.05. In place of of is times two five three fifty four and that gives me twelve point six seven seven some pounds so to the nearest penny that would be twelve pounds sixty eight so the the total amount that you have to pay to the company will be the bill which is 253.54 plus the VAT which is £12.68 and that comes to £266.22